Hey guys, I've been gone for a while, not gone from Revival, but gone from doing dailies. We've been really busy, we had the twist off, we had the cannonball, and a whole lot of other projects we've been working on. And you know, the point of this daily thing was to try to share with you guys what we're doing. We've had people complain that we're not doing enough dailies, which is a great thing, frankly, um, but it takes more, see, we're so busy we can't pause it. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. Um, uh, we, we came out here because I thought this would be a quiet place to do the filming. Anyway, we were so busy that keeping up with what we need to get done uh, has been really difficult. And then making time to do the dailies, uh, at a point, at this point, Laser's having a hard time shooting and editing dailies at, at a pace that even works because we've got so much other stuff. Then we had Barber, we had the Harvest Classic, all these events that we had to do. Uh, plus, Stefan and I went to SEMA, which you'll see some ports of that. And uh, I don't know, it's just been a little crazy. But we figured we'd do a quick, like, informal walkthrough and kind of show you what's going on today. Our Bach was over there. He's about working on switch housing stuff. Not wearing a mic, but that's okay. Um, he's breaking down the switch housings, as you guys saw a while ago. Uh, we got a little capture of that. Uh, to kind of show what's happening. Uh, we moved this around. Love you, mean it. So let's talk about stuff inside. This bike, we're finally gonna we're gonna launch. The V9, or release, or whatever. We've been trying to put photos together, an article together for that. Um, that bike over there, which doesn't look together, which is great. The um, Royal Enfield Interceptor Twin that we built for Royal Enfield. Kawasaki Harley, Harley, Harley. Alec with a little <laughs> bitty motor in his hands. Uh, this is our good buddy, Brian. BP, say hi. Uh, Brian, we, we have uh, kind of an artist community, our entire uh, shop, um, and every year, right around November, they have a thing called the East Austin Studio Tours, and we're kind of a key part of that, so we have artists that come in and hang and sell their works every year. I think this is Brian's fifth year, which is pretty kick-ass. Um, I want to go talk to Andy about the Boyd Ducati. Andy! Oh my gosh. Are you mic'd up and ready to do this? I am so ready. All right. So, let's drop the hammer. Oh, that's a, that's a really good pun. And do this. Yay! <laughs> we planned that all out, didn't we? <laughs> all right, anyway, don't snort, don't snort. So, we're gonna do an update on the Boyd Ducati. Look at this, guys. This thing is starting to look like a motorcycle. A little bit like a motorcycle. Uh, talk to us, what have you done since we, I mean, I know what you've done, but they don't. Yeah, uh, I actually don't remember the last time we did a daily on this bike in particular, so my brain's a little. <laughs> I already kind of updated everybody that it's been a while since we've done a daily. Yeah. But I can uh, see that we've gone back to the factory uh, triple clamps, which is great. Yeah, they're just no, for mock-up really. right now. Uh, I know, I was being sarcastic. So, so Doc can work on the other stuff. Um, well, I've been working on sheet metal. Um, the tank is fully enclosed. It's a fuel tank now, which is Did pretty you pressure test exciting. It? I haven't done that yet because oh. I still have a little more work to do okay. on these sides. All right. I was going to say, if we've already pressure tested everything, I'm happy. No, we're not. We're, we're close. Okay. We're close. All right. Uh, but the big thing I've been working on uh, since finishing the tank up is the under panel. You can, you can see the really front right. one's installed. Um, there's a gap here that'll tighten up. Yeah, and that's, like, that's some of my final adjustments. I'm working on the back one right now. This is all so much more complex than you would think, guys. To get these fasteners, to get all this to line up and have the bodywork go right back underneath so that it looks seamless all the way around, which I've never actually really seen anybody do. To do a seamless tank and tail section not, all in one piece yeah. to, to wrap all the way under. I've not, never seen not it. quite like this. I mean, there's similar stuff, but usually those are kind of flip up and Mass produced, yeah. nothing that has this level of complexity. Uh, anyway. But I'm actually working on a small panel. This is the level of detail for this bike, guys. I'm working on a little panel to go in here to cover this. This is where the frame tubes yeah, go through. That's what I was gonna say. The frame tube comes right up through there. But so that we're enclosing as much of it as possible so you don't see anything in there. And this is all gonna be polished aluminum when it's all done. Me and you and only the people that watch this video are gonna know that it's even there. Yeah, and exactly. Ed. And Ed. Exactly. Well, if you hit it with a light it, it, from underneath, it'll it'll reflect and it'll be super shiny. Yeah, we'll, we'll put little LED spotlights that point this way with mirror shine. But uh, and the exhaust, 
And then Ty's been working on the exhaust. I know everybody on, online apparently thought it was me. It's actually Ty uh, doing all that welding. Ty Tanium, as we call him, welding stainless. Yeah. Instead of titanium. Ty, Ty doesn't like the camera, so we won't talk to him. He doesn't? No, he hates it. Ty, you don't like the camera? <laughs> I thought you were, you're always asking me. You're always tugging at my coat, my, sh my uh, shirt tail, asking to be on camera all the time. Thank you very much. I want to talk to you. That's just to make me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, Ty's been. Dude, this Ty's is the best welding that's ever come out of the shop. Ranking it out. Sorry. You're I, a good I'm welder. Not, I'm not offended by that. But Jesus Christ, it's so good. Yeah, it's it's don't, don't such good work. Close don't get what? Don't get too close well, I mean, it can't be perfect, but how many miles of welding? 52. 50, 52 feet of 52 welding. 52 feet of, of constant bead weld. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, so other people have seen the other bike we did, the J63. Uh, looks really similar. We've talked about this. We've got this frame line and a very similar uh, overall design line for the exhaust, but if you actually look at the photo, it's they're very, very different. different. The, the, none of the lines are the same. We certainly haven't reproduced anything. There's a lot more straight and angle pieces in J63. But this, I mean the frame, everything. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. about the bike I, is I similar. I was talking about the exhaust yeah, specific. Yeah, Our, that bike is currently sitting in the Peterson Auto, Auto, Auto Museum, which is kick-ass and really cool for us. Um, uh, but this bike is next level. This bike is literally inspired by that bike. Uh, only and, but it's so much more. It's not even next level, it's like seven levels up. <laughs> this, this is, uh, so this is the blank for our muffler that we're about to start working on. Obviously this is gonna get cut, cut up and yeah. sectioned mm -hmm. and changed. Uh, it won't be a straight cone We'll, we'll continue like to have a continuous curve coming out of this exhaust uh, system. I, I think there's probably an image uh, rendering we maybe can show. Maybe you can put an image rendering. Right there. Of the motor side, lasers. Just doesn't look. He's concentrated. I hate you guys. All right, yeah, that's, what he's uh, that's exactly right. Um, so yeah, yeah it's cool. it's moving along. We're excited. Do you want to talk with me over here about the Gucci debacle? I'd love to talk to you about the Gucci debacle. All right, I so, can I can use some art school words. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that. So we had a um, um, titanium get off of Instagram. Okay. Um, we thanks, Ty. If you guys haven't seen it, we've been calling it the Alloy Gucci, which. We've run out of Gucci names apparently because we do so many Gucci's. Um, if you it's, see, it's maybe real, you could show a real original. of that or a link to that video that we talked about it. Yeah, it's a it's a race racing Gucci we've been building. We actually have a motor for it now. That's exciting. We have a motor that we're gonna have to rebuild and the, tune. And the motor we were using for the mock-up was literally a shell with no parts in it. I actually took a photo today of Chris just carrying that around because nothing in it with gearbox. He looks so strong. Um, we're going to polish and port and build that into a performance motor. Um, that thing should double in horsepower when we're done with it, which will be cool. As you can see, I've got my hand on the frame that we've modified and built out, and I'm calling this the Kermit the Frog frame. Yeah, so that's not really the color we wanted, is it? I picked the color out because it very closely matched in, in at least image the green um, that we were inspired by from the V8 Moto Guzzi, uh, that's that everybody, the GP bike that they built, the V8 Moto Guzzi. Hey, maybe pairing. we should show an image of that. Maybe we should show an image of that. Laser. We even have a poster too. We have a poster. Well, <laughs> so this color taken from a powder coating sample uh, closely matched or, or was really close to matching the Moto Guzzi uh, color. And I've seen that bike in person. I know what it looks like. Yes. And then it showed back up here. Swatch cards are hard sometimes. It showed up here and I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's tacky and ugly. And it's, a, it's a little too close to John Deere green, I think. So this John Deere green Moto Guzzi frame that has been freshly sandblasted and powder coated is about to be, along with the swing arm and the rear spring, the transmission mount, the side stand, is all going to be um, stripped and repowder coated in a more classy color. Moral of the story, you know, as long as we've been doing this, we I'm, still screw up sometimes. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah. I'll take this. I've never made that big of a mistake on colors. It's true. I've usually, usually they're pretty spot on. They're pretty spot on. That's a pretty big mistake, though. And the owner may end up liking this if you saw this uh, and let us know. But I don't like it, and so I want to change it. Anyway, we'll go from there. Uh, what else? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, Says your swanky vest. We've already talked about that. The I elephant actually, in the room? I think I did. Did I we? Did, I did I did uh, talk about this. The, we've, we've started to build the frame and fresh out, uh, flesh out the rest of the frame modifications. 
for this Moto Guzzi kind of flat tracker style Centaro motor four valve monster oh, monster overhead cam. Well, we'll get to it. It's coming. Uh, and the Yamaha we still have yet to build. There's a lot of projects going on here, guys. Uh, the, the reason we don't do dailies enough is because we're constantly building motorcycles. Yeah, and talking about them takes forever. Anything new I should talk about with this thing? Um, nothing noteworthy. The exhaust Ty, is looking good. Ty is, uh, Ty is working on our, our side stand. Okay. We're just kind of plugging along with little things at the moment, waiting for some more feedback from the client. He's going to be up there. He said he's going to come visit us soon, so that's great. All right, thanks for your amazing interview skills, Ty. Yep. You did a really nice job. All right, come with me. All right, bye-bye. Right, Go away, you. nerds. Later. We are really pleased with the feedback we're getting about the dailies and about the workshop, and about revival. It's been kind of, it's been better for us than I thought this would be kind of doing these daily films. We'll try to do them more. We really still want to get in depth without getting too boring uh, about what we're presenting. Andy wants to do some teaching videos. I know that, or at least he's willing to, <laughs> being forced by us. Uh, in the meantime, uh, please comment, like, subscribe, uh, follow us, tell us you like us, all that good stuff. Um, uh, also, build your own project, get your hands dirty. Tell us about what you're doing, share it, send it to us. Get ready for Handbuilt Show. It's in April and that's just a few months away. Get your tickets now, because there's still a discount. We'll talk to you soon.